At the beginning of COVID-19, experts thought the virus mainly affected the respiratory system. And researchers now know that coronavirus can go well past that in the human body. As 10 on your side, Simone Davis shows us a new report shows the virus could even affect male fertility. A recent study from the University of Miami shows COVID-19 has the potential to cause male infertility and could even spread sexually by asymptomatic men. In spite of the newfound research, two local couples undergoing fertility treatments are determined to bring new life into this world. After years of trying to have a baby, Heather Perry and her husband William had their bundle of joy in 2019. I became a mom last September. Now the couple has set their sights on trying again with the help of Dr. Robin at the New Hope Center for Reproductive Medicine in Virginia Beach. You know, there was talk here at the clinic about, you know, possibly, you know, having an endocell trial. Until the coronavirus pandemic hit, making the couple reevaluate their plan. But they're not alone. 28-year-old Nicole Ellington is currently going through IVF treatment at the center in hopes of conceiving her first child. All I could think about was, is the clinic going to shut down? Are we going to have to cancel our cycle because of a state mandate? Both women and their spouses have thankfully remained healthy during the pandemic. But scientists say another issue is at play that could affect couples' abilities to have children. A new study by the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine has discovered potential impacts COVID-19 can have on male fertility. And these ACE2 receptors are found in different tissues of the body, um, including the, the lungs, the liver, the you know, GI tract, and also the testicular tissue. Dr. Robin said the virus can harm testicular tissue, even if a man doesn't show symptoms. Scientists are working to learn about how much of the virus is needed to be present in the testis tissue to be detected in semen, and if it can be shared like a sexually transmitted disease. What they haven't shown is that it, it, that it actually infects the sperm cell, the, the actual sperm itself. We know it infects the testis and the tissue that makes up the testis. Dr. Robin said it could take months or years for scientists to fully understand how testis tissue responds to COVID-19 and the potential impacts of the virus on sperm patients who have time can opt to freeze their sperm just in case. If we find that there are long lasting adverse impacts, they will have at least one unaffected um, specimen that they could use for future conception efforts. But she knows time isn't on everyone's side. Weeks of medications you have to take, followed by a surgery and then waiting. There's all but a whole bunch of waiting that's already involved in IVF treatment. Being in our mid to late 30s, it's kind of like that time's kind of ticking for us. Both women say the journey hasn't been easy, but they're determined not to let anything, not even a pandemic, keep them from the ultimate prize. We've tried to kind of go through this, having the pandemic in the back of our minds with still staying the course of knowing having a child is our most important thing. I wanna be a mom and I wanna expand my family. That's a greater feeling than being fearful of COVID. Dr. Robin adds the findings in this study provide no evidence that the compromised fertility in these men will be long lasting, as has been seen in viruses such as HIV, Zika and mumps. I'm Simone Davis, 10 on your side.